Zach's Rank Buys starts with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. And now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Time to talk about a couple of more aggressive growth stocks now with Bill Wilton, our aggressive growth stock strategist here at Zach's.com. Dr. Reddy's Laboratories. Mm -hmm. That sounds kind of eerie, <laughs> but uh, it is uh, one that's been around for a while. It's a popular one, too, in some uh, investment circles. RDY, the ticker symbol, a mm -hmm. global pharmaceutical company. Yeah, they're headquartered in India, and one, one of the main things that I really like about them is that the generic uh, and other proprietary pharmaceuticals, uh, you know, it's a fairly stable industry, mm -hmm. uh, but I also like that they're in an emerging market because they are headquartered in India. And they also distribute, uh, you know, fairly evenly around the globe. Thirty percent is going to North America, twenty-six percent goes to Europe. This is by revenue. Seventy percent locally in India, another thirteen percent to Russia. So you know, you've got a lot of exposure to emerging markets there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's starting to show in their results. Uh, the last quarterly update they had, um, they showed their profits were up by thirty-two percent. One thing that's interesting with these guys, though, is because they are international, some of those companies won't do um, quarterly estimates as far as you know analysts go. But their guidance was enough for the annual estimates to start rising, uh, and we're now expecting 80% growth this year and 44% growth next year on the bottom line. So things are going well for them. Uh, you know, the PE is a bit high here. They're nearing 25 uh, times forward earnings, which is more than we'd like to pay. Mm -hmm. But given those, you know, those high double-digit growth rates, we're looking at a peg that's just under 1.0. So it's not a bad value here. Um, and another thing that we're seeing is that these shares are really pretty much trading, you know, uh, in a vacuum, you know, a lot of people look at stochastics and say that, oh, this stock is overbought. There's no way it can keep going higher. But if you look at the past few months, it's been overbought the entire time, and it just continues to keep climbing. So, so trading in a vacuum, meaning independently of the market. Yeah, and you just kind of have to forget about you know technicals. Also, you know, it almost just throw it out the window and, and look at what the stock is doing. It's a great uh, momentum play as well. If uh, if Mike were to pick that out. <laughs> Stock with a mind of its own, almost. Yep. All right, LSI Industries, one that you've written about recently as well on Zax.com, L-Y-T-S, the ticker symbol. Mm -hmm. And they're into image solutions. So what does that mean? Uh, they make LED um, technology and components for, you know, both commercial and retail. So, you know, signs, things like that, billboards, um, you know, and other niche applications. So, you know, that kind of a, of a market. Um, you know, these guys do have uh, the quarterly estimates, so they're showing a great surprise history right now. Uh, and one of the things I like the most is that their CEO um, talked about, you know, the previously they had been undergoing a lot of strategic changes, uh, you know, and efforts to cut costs and build up, you know, their, their pipelines. And he said in the most recent quarter that they're finally starting to reap those benefits, which means there's a lot of good things coming down the pipe. Mm -hmm. um, and that was enough for estimates to start rising there. Their growth rates are, you know, absolutely off the charts. We're looking at 192% this year. So estimates, or pardon me, earnings are probably about going to triple uh, by the end of the year and then another uh, roughly 40% uh, in 2011. So, you know, things are going well. Um, the valuations, uh, you know, this is more of a smaller company, so it's it's hard to look at more of the traditional valuations, but uh, their price to sales is coming in. Uh, it's actually the best in their peer group at 1.2. So things, you know, even though the, the share price is doing well, uh, they're still not quite overvalued. Uh, they're still a pretty decent value, actually, if you look at it. Okay. One of the biggest things I was worried about with these guys, though, because of that strong quarterly report, shares spiked, and a lot of times you're going to see profit taking on that, especially in an uncertain market like we are at uh, right now. But, you know, not only have shares, you know, held that new level at the multi-year high, but they're actually, you know, continuing to go higher. So that's a very bullish sign moving forward as well. All right. Do you own either of these two? I do not. Check out more Zach's Rank. Buy stock pick ideas at our homepage, Zach's.com. Upper right-hand corner, we put four new ones up there for you daily, one in each of the investing categories written about on Zacks.com. Bill's aggressive growth is included. And with Bill Wilton, I'm Terry Ruffalo.